Geek's Cocktail Part 2 Chill Principles, Conduction, Convection In this video, the principles of chilling, conduction and convection are explained with experiments. To chill is to transfer heat from an object with a higher temperature to an object with a lower temperature. Heat is transferred to lower the temperature of the object on the hot side. This is to chill it. Heat transfer is one-way traffic from the high temperature side to the low temperature side. There is no heat transfer from the low temperature side to the high temperature side. Also, the greater the temperature difference, the more easily heat is transferred. If the temperature difference disappears and the two become the same temperature, there is no heat transfer. The hottest shake-related object is the hand or fingers touching the shaker. Conversely, the lowest temperature is the ice. Considering the relationship between the temperature of the shaker and cocktail ingredients, if the temperature of the shaker is higher than the temperature of the cocktail ingredients, the cocktail ingredients will be warmed by the heat of the shaker. Conversely, if the temperature of the shaker is lower than that of the cocktail ingredients, the cocktail ingredients will be chilled in two systems, the shaker and the ice. If so, it can be said that lowering the temperature of the shaker below the temperature of the cocktail ingredients is effective in rapidly chilling the cocktail ingredients. There are three types of heat transfer. Conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction and convection are the ways in which heat is transferred by matter, and radiation is the way in which heat is transferred by electromagnetic waves that do not involve matter. The purpose of shaking, chilling, is the transfer of heat inside the shaker. For this reason, the explanation of radiation, in which electromagnetic waves carry heat, is omitted in this video. Conduction and convection are the ways in which heat is transmitted through materials. What is the difference in heat transfer between conduction and convection? Conduction is the transfer of heat without the movement of matter, while convection is the transfer of heat with the movement of matter by convection. In other words, conduction is the way heat is transferred in solids. Convection is the transfer of heat in fluids such as gases and liquids. Shakers made of metal or glass, which are solid, chilled by conduction, which does not involve the movement of matter. Cocktail ingredients, which are liquids, are chilled by convection, which involves the movement of matter. Being aware of this difference in heat transfer is very useful in achieving one of the objectives of the shake, to chill. The ease of heat transfer in a solid is expressed by thermal conductivity. Thermal conductivity is an intrinsic property of a material. In other words, Thermal conductivity in shaking is determined solely by the material of the shaker and does not vary with shaking technique or method. The greater the value of thermal conductivity, the more easily heat is transferred. The slide shows a bar graph of the thermal conductivity of the main materials used in shakers. It can be confirmed that the thermal conductivity varies greatly depending on the material of the shaker. Let us confirm the difference in heat transfer by thermal conductivity with an experiment. Shakers of different materials are placed side by side on ice, and the temperature change of the shakers is photographed by thermography. In the thermography image, areas with high temperature are displayed in red and areas with low temperature are displayed in blue. The change from red to blue with temperature change proceeds quickly for silver and copper shakers, which have high thermal conductivity, followed by nickel-silver, titanium, and stainless steel shakers. 
It can be seen that there is almost no color change for the glass shakers with low thermal conductivity. Thermal conductivity does not change, but heat transfer by conduction can be improved through ingenuity. Heat transfer by conduction is greater when the two objects are large temperature difference, close distance, and large contact area. In other words, the key to chilling the shaker by conduction is to have the ice in wide contact with the inside of the shaker and, furthermore, to keep moving the ice to areas where it is not touching and where the temperature is higher, rather than keeping the ice in one place. Let's try to confirm the difference in heat transfer by keeping the ice moving in an experiment. Put ice in a stainless steel mug, move the ice along the inner surface of only one mug, and photograph the temperature change of the mug with thermography. Leave the mug on the right side of the screen with ice in it. After adding ice to the mug on the left side of the screen, stir it with a bar spoon so that the ice moves along the inside of the mug. On the right side of the screen, you can only see the color change on the left side of the mug where the ice is touching, but not on the front or right side of the mug where the ice is not touching. On the left side of the screen, as the ice continues to move, you can see that the temperature of the entire surface of the mug drops and the color changes rapidly from red to blue. The ease of heat transfer in a fluid is expressed by the heat transfer coefficient. The heat transfer coefficient varies with multiple conditions. This means that the heat transfer coefficient in shaking can be controlled by shaking techniques and methods. The higher the heat transfer coefficient, the easier the heat is transferred. The slide is a bar graph representation of the heat transfer coefficients of water and air. As can be seen from the graph, there is a wide range of heat transfer coefficients even for the same substance. Let us confirm the transfer of heat by convection with an experiment. The liquid in the glass is thermo ink, a special ink that changes color depending on the temperature. The white ball in the glass is called non-melting ice, which is water frozen in a plastic ball. The water does not melt out of the plastic ball. The temperature is cooled from the liquid around the non-melting ice and the color changes from pink to blue. And since the liquid with lower temperature has a heavier specific gravity, we can confirm that the blue liquid sinks to the bottom and the blue liquid accumulates at the bottom of the glass. Heat transfer by convection increases with higher flow velocity, turbulent flow, and higher thermal conductivity of solids with which the fluid contacts. In other words, using a shaker made of a material with high thermal conductivity to generate fast-flowing forced convection, including turbulence, is the key to cooling cocktail ingredients by convection. Let us confirm the difference in heat transfer in convection due to the difference in flow velocity by experiment. Thermo ink is put in the mug. The outside of this mug is packed with ice to cool the thermo ink from the outside of the mug. The right side of the screen shows natural convection with slow velocity. On the left side of the screen, stirring with a bar spoon generates forced convection with high velocity flow. It can be confirmed that the color of the thermo ink changes from pink to blue quickly because the heat transfer due to convection is greater in the mug on the left, where the flow velocity is faster. In this video, I explained the principle of chilling. Chilling is the transfer of heat from the hot side to the cold side. I explained that shakers, which are solids, are chilled by conduction and cocktail ingredients, which are liquids, are chilled by convection. I also explained that thermal conductivity is fixed by the material of the shaker, but heat transfer coefficient can be controlled by shake technology. 
The next video will cover the aerate principles, microbubbles, and the swirling flow method. The presence of microbubble generation by ultrasound and the use of a laser light sheet to photograph microbubbles will be explained with experiments. If you are interested, please subscribe to the channel and watch.